So we'll start out with a simple layer example. We'll import a model with layers, do some visibility control, show you how to create them and how to move things around. So let's get started. All right, so let's go in here and import some geometry. So one thing to take note when you're importing is you have a couple options here. You have your layer, um, you can cut these new colors, uh, increment layer as well. And one thing I want to show you here. So when VMAP opens up, it usually comes in with a default layer and a construction layer. So when, you, uh, when you're coming in here, if you start with layer one, it's going to automatically kick your first layer from the model you're bringing in to default layer. So I like to adjust that to two, or you can set it to wherever you want to start. Um, also, depending on if you want just to bring in everything on one layer, you can do that. But we want to increment layers. I want to show you how you can actually bring in multiple ones. So let's just bring in this here little plunger, a little base link with the plunger. And as you can see, brought it in. We already have layers set up. So now I'm going to show you some visibility controls and how you can actually use these things to, to organize stuff. So if you come in here and you right click, you can see you've got some few visibility layers here. You can view all layers, view visible layers, and uh, activate and new. So let's go ahead and view visible layers only. So right now we have nothing shown, no other layers are highlighted. So if we come in here and look at base link, you can see, okay, that's in that layer. We can show plunger, pin, vice versa. You also have the option to highlight things. And then if you click on this checkbox with right click, it brings up some more, you know, hide all, show all, you can show selected, hide selected things like that. So let's just go ahead and do view all and let's go ahead and make a layer. So to do that, right click in, in your model tree and you can create new, name it whatever you want, set an ID. Um, so we'll just call this pin to create another pin here. Also, if you hit more, you can just keep creating layers, but we only want that one for right now. So the way that you assign when you're creating entities, the way you make sure they go into whatever layer you want is going to be by activating it. So this is, is blue, which shows that this layer is active. So anything I work on right now is going to automatically get kicked into that layer. Uh, you, so, you know, you have to really pay attention to that because if you're not paying attention, you can end up putting things in places you don't want. So let's just come in here real quick make a boundary surface. Let's just throw another pin in the boundary surface here. Let's go. And we'll just uh, extrude a little pin here. Again, we have our right layer selected. Come in here and we will extrude. We'll grab this surface. We're just going to go to a location here snap to a point and see we've got the direction we're extruding great so we come on here and uh let's oops sorry about that uh, hit okay and bring it to there so we've generated a little pin now if we come in here show visible layers only let's make sure it's on the layer we want perfect there it is so now you've organized. So this is, you can see, is really great when you have lots of big models. Um, you can have, you know, individual layers can have things organized exactly how you want them. You know exactly where things are. What happens if you want to move something? Let's say we decide we want to put two pins in the same group. Um, to do that, you have to go to uh, modify layers. And so through here, you can individually grab components and move them around for layers. So let's just go ahead and grab the solid quick. Grab this, and then you have the option to choose where you want to put it. So we're going to move it to the other pin. And now it has both of them in there, and this is now empty. Oh, sorry. Oops. Should, there we go. Just have to regenerate quick. So that's how layers work. They're pretty straightforward. Um, they really are good for just organizing. You can work in the layer. You can set up your mesh. You can set up your geometry. Uh, you can have individual parts. So you can kind of fly around and, and see things really easily. But uh, that's a